Well, it's the 27th of, of September 2015. As most of you will know, I am involved in church pipe organ restoration, and we do that for kind of the summer six months, and we do CB radio for the winter six months. I don't like cold churches. So we're shortly going to be starting back on CBs. Four months ago, Brian from London contacted me. He said, would I look at a Jason KT4004? I said, well, I don't normally, but I will. And I said to him, well, probably be done in two half-hour sessions. Well, what a corker. Four months later, finally... I mean, we've got a circuit diagram, we've got a, we've got a layout, a, a block diagram, I've written out a layout, I've only been able to pick at it in half hour bursts, anyway, I finally decided it wasn't lighting up, and I finally decided we'd get our demonstration one out, and uh, not we've ever demonstrated it, so we're going to demonstrate his. This is Brian's, and there's no power, so you start off with the 13.8 volts coming in from the vehicle battery or power supply. On these sets, the first regulator is 12 volts, and then it finds its way to a 5 volt regulator, which drives a synthesizer, which in this case is a C5121, which is one of those which starts on channel 9, which can be frustrating. And basically it wasn't the 5 volts but there was the 12 volts. And what happens is it disappears onto the front panel, does a few things and disappears back down. And I've never done this before successfully. I've even broken one of our own sets, one of our own new sets. But it's... The front panel is sold to the main board. Well, it falls apart and he's gluing. Um... And it's quite a swine to get all those connections taken off without damaging anything. Anyway, being able to do that, and I found three cracks on the front panel. And this is one that Brian bought on eBay, and um, no doubt was sold as spares repairs, but the uh, point is it must have been dropped. And uh, so we've been able to link those three cracks. That's brought it to life, and whilst we were doing that, I decided I would just run through the receiver because the receiver was absolutely miles out. So I have done a very basic receiver setup. So what we're going to do is go through the transmitter on it because we haven't done the model before. So it's GSIN KT4004. And if I switch this on, which will help, it neatly comes up onto channel 9. So we do these adjustments on channel 20. Which I've now selected. And I'll just unplug that annoying extension speaker. And we will go into transmit. I haven't looked at Brian's microphone yet. This is our factory original microphone. So here we go, transmit. Again, I don't have instructions for the VCO. And if I did, what we'd have to do is to research how that's done with that type of synthesizer chip that's clearly the VCO um, test point there so I would presume that the transmit is going to be T8, T9 and T10 I may be wrong, let's give it a go so we're now into transmit and I presume we're on low power we are well that's swung the meter straight across, we're on the 3 what range on the test set um, looking at that now it's doing what? 3 watts, it is doing 3 watts so we're going to use do tran transform 8 and that's now Pete transformer 9 That's now Pete. Transformer 10. And 
I think it's elf. Don't know which it's just elf something rather. And that's brought us up to three point two. So I'm going to run through those again. But your help if the power supply is on thirteen point eight. It's on thirteen point two. Right, well I think that's what we're going to do. It's, it's doing about 3.2 uh, watts on this test set, but as I've said many times before, um, we keep this one in calibration and it's, um, it, when compared to ones aimed at the CB market, it's uh, you could easily say this is probably doing 4.5 watts uh, on, a, on a CB type meter. Right, that's, that's within the acceptable limits. Now we better just uh, see what the S meter says. So we've got a three fairy light arrangement and it's lighting all three. Now RV3 is the adjustment point. The uh, potentiometer is down there for that if I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. So that's set that. So it's all three to light. It's just a relative indicator. If we look at the bezel that's fallen off. Um, let's just say on power it's 1, 2, 3 and on receive it's going to be 1, S9 and, and 30 and I've cut my finger and as a professional church organist that was quite inconvenient at church today and when I say I cut my finger it was opening the packet that the desolder braid came in for this repair so it's all Brian's fault I actually had to go to hospital with it and uh, they decided to glue me back together I was in and out in 45 minutes, not bad. That's Grantham Hospital for you. Right, um, so we've done that. We'll do the deviation next. Let's see what we've got. To, well, let's see what we've got on the deviation. I'm just going to pause the video whilst I find the uh, oscillator. Right, we're going to transmit. Switch the oscillator on. I've got deviation of about three with that, so we need to turn it down. Now I think the deviation is RV201 on these. I'm right, it is. I work this, you know, I've worked this out from the circuit what I'm what I'm telling you, but I can sometimes be mistaken, especially with ones I've never seen one of these sets before. So we do have a sample, and uh, I will go through. I'll have to go through hours, uh, especially while I've got it fresh in my mind. I'll just do a whistle test and just make sure that stays within the uh, two to two and a half region. It's actually, a tad low. So let's pop that back up a little fragment. There we go, spot on. So that has covered the transmit, other than the frequency. So it should be one channel 20 on the UK 2781 band, and so it should be 27.79125. And let's see what the counter says. 27.79151. So it's a little bit high. The trimmer on this, and I'll just zoom in. crystal there, the reference crystal, and it's CT1 which is the trimmer next to it. And I don't know where the uh, the yellow tool is, I'll have to use the wrong one. Don't do this at home.
inevitably have you go the wrong, wrong way. So there we have it, that's 2779131, which is slightly high of 125, which is where it should be. So what we've, just to recap, the um, frequency um, for the mass translator is um, CT1 there. That's clearly the VC, but we're not going to touch it. Transmit lineup is transform 8, transformer 9, transformer 10, and coil whatever that is. So that's what we're doing. That's deviation, and that is the um, RF meter. So, I'll meet you on the receive side of this.